Hello, my name is Dennis Volley, and I'm Chief of Stations, Facilities and Structures for the MBTA. I'm responsible for the safety and state of good repair for stations or facilities, employee facilities, passenger facilities, and in some cases in the structure run where we actually run trains such as this. Every morning we do get a report from the customer experience. We read it every morning. The, when we do you know, investigate the complaints, if they're legitimate, we put a work ticket in if that's what's required, go out and investigate it. Uh, we, you know, although we have inspectors out, you can't see everything everywhere at the big system. So we do rely on the customers in some cases, and we appreciate that, that they, if they see something, to let us know. Right now, we are on the Braintree branch of the south, south side of JFK on the red line. There's a surge, a significant surge going on all the way down to Braintree. Um, we're going to work on uh, effectively nine miles of track, both directions. JFK, the station we just left, they're doing, uh, they did all the new tactile. The tactile, uh, you know, was degraded. Um, that's a significant safety component, uh, for, especially for accessibility. Um, you probably noticed the flags on top of the canopy, so they're putting a new, uh, new roof on top of that. So not only does that protect our passengers from getting water on them, the obvious, but it also protects our infrastructure and in that the water isn't leaching through the concrete and affecting our infrastructure, the concrete, the conduits, and everything else that's associated with it. And what we're doing is making, facilitating repairs on the stations that are out of service, things that we can't normally do to get to. Um, you know, the tactile platform work, painting overhead, things that are hard, uh, new relamping stations, crossovers, things that are very hard to do when there's passengers going back and forth. So um, we're, we're doing all those while the stations are out. They're actually doing structural overpass work too, but behind us is uh, the flyover and work the walkway there that's an important, was severely degraded. It was an old wooden walkway. We ripped, secured that, made any repairs we had to do, and then we put a fiberglass grating on top of it that is far superior and safer than what was there before. But we see opportunities like this, that's almost impossible to do on the traffic, but in this case, because the track is out of service, that's the time to do it. I'm proud of the whole team. So um, there's a lot of work that went into this, there's a lot of work that's going on, and a lot of people are putting a lot of effort into it. So at the end of the year, hopefully we'll have all these speed restrictions off, that is the plan, I think we will make it. Um, and then the next challenge will be to maintain the infrastructure so we don't go back where it was one, a year ago when we started.